Hello everyone, in this video I will be solving Cambridge IGCSE Information and Communication Technology Paper 3 for May June 2022 Variant 32. I am going to solve the web page task. The spreadsheet is already done. You can find the link in the description. So we will start with task 3 file management. Create a new folder called J2232. So this is the working file. Let us create a new folder here. J2232. Now you need to store these files into the folder. So these are the three files you need to move it to the folder. So we have the files here. Display the contents of your file showing folder name, file names, extensions and the dimensions. So in order to show all the details right click view content you can see the description so let's take the screenshot of this as required by the question so that will be your evidence one in your evidence document you need to paste it as evidence one next is web page you are going to create a style sheet you have to make sure all the color codes are hexadecimal create a new style sheet to meet the following specifications so we need a new style sheet so this is an HTML page we need a CSS you can close this now go to file new CSS Add a comment at the start of the style sheet to contain your name, center number and candidate number. So we have to add a comment. A comment you will start with slash star. Then your name, center number, candidate number. Then give a space star slash. This is how you write a comment. Set the phone for styles h1, h2 and h3 so that browser selects cache and pro bold otherwise times new roman otherwise serif font so let's create a new style new style and it is created for h1 h2 and h3 so h1 comma h2 comma h3 so the font is cache and pro bold otherwise times new roman otherwise serif you just need to enter the phone names in order separated by comma so that is done give ok you can see the styles are set here always make sure the phone names which have more than one word should be in double quotes next set style h1 so that the text is red central line with a 30 point font so h1 H1 should be red, center aligned and 30 point. So the color is red which will show the hexa code. Center align for center align go to block, text align, center and the phone size is 30 point. So select 30 and point here. Next we have style H2, so go to new style, give the style name as H2, H2 is black fully justified with 18 point, so it is black black fully justified, go to block, text align, justify and 18 point so the phone size is 80 okay next we need to create h3 the color is black left aligned and 14 point so alignment from block left 
and the font size font size is 40 point so that's done set the table width to 25 percent from the right margin of the browser window and five percent from all other margins so new style we have to set the table style go to table for the margin you will go to box we have to set the right margin to 25 percent the top is 5 percent only right margin is 25 all others are 5 percent Next we have set the padding for all table cells to 10 pixel. So table cell means the style for the table data. So go to new style table data TD and it must have a padding of 10 pixel. So go to box again you can see padding here give 10 pixel and you can set it as same for all give ok. Next set all table borders and grid lines so they are not visible. Table borders and grid lines means uh, it is applicable for both table as well as TD which is the table data. So for that we will add a new style table comma TD and you can set the border to 0. and border style none give ok next set the background for the web page so that it has a color so now we need to set the background so go to new style background is applicable in the body style so go to body you have background here the background color should be in the order red green blue red so d a 9 f 2 5 the hex color is rgb format so first we need to enter red component then green and then blue so it should be it should start with a hash and the color is d a 9F25 9F25 so this is the color next set the background for the web page to have the image J2232 logo so this is the background image click on browse select the logo image it should be placed only once in the ta top right corner so background repeat give no repeat to be placed only once top right corner so right and then top in a fixed position so that it will not scroll with the web page so fixed position in background attachment fixed with a width of 200 pixel and 150 pixels height so with this 200 and height is 150 
give ok save this style sheet so the style sheet is done save this style sheet in your folder with the file name j2232css followed by your sender number and candidate number so let's save this inside your folder the name is j2232 followed by your center number and candidate number save Take a screenshot to show the file name and all contents of your style sheet and place this in your evidence document. So we need to take a screenshot. Take the screenshot with the file name. So I'll add this as evidence to evidence to. Let's complete the screen screenshot from here. We have to add the so the screenshot is done. Open the web page twt.htm. So open this. TWT attach the style sheet saved in step 19 so let's attach the style sheet attach style sheet set the title of your web page to Tavara Wildlife Trust so right click page properties you can set the title here Tavara Wildlife Trust okay. next save your web page take a copy of the HTML source so save the web page HTML source you can find here select all text copy and that will be your evidence 3 paste the HTML code there next uh, display your web page in your browser if necessary resize it so that all the page can be seen all text can be easily read and take screenshot evidence so we need to show the web page in the browser So this is your web page. So let's resize the page so that everything is visible. So now the page is visible completely. take a screenshot with the address bar and all the text clearly visible so select this next is your evidence 4 so this is the evidence now you need to print the evidence document so this is the end of the web page task, spreadsheet task you can find in the description. Thank you for now.